Let's listen to Trump's hardline plans to end homelessness. Our once great cities have become unlivable, unsanitary nightmares, surrendered to the homeless, the drug addicted, and the violent and dangerously deranged. Well, well, I, I didn't realize cities were surrendered to the homeless, drug addicted, and uh, the deranged in some kind of war that happened. We're making many suffer for the whims of a deeply unwell few, and they are unwell indeed. Uh, well, yeah, l like, like everything is handed to the homeless when in reality they're like beaten and shoved out of view as much as possible. The homeless have no right to turn every park and sidewalk into a place for them to squat and do drugs. Uh, well, it is a public park. Uh, being able to sleep outside is a human right. Americans should not have to step over piles of needles and waste as they walk down a street. Uh, that can be solved by legalizing drugs and having more public restrooms. Beautiful city. Or at least once beautiful city because they've changed so much over the last 10 years. Our first consideration should be the rights and safety of the hardworking, law abiding citizens who make our society function. What yeah, okay. Everybody has rights here. Just because you're working doesn't mean you got more rights than somebody who isn't working. Uh, that kind of society creates a very draconian type of society to live in where if uh where people who are working are seen as a higher class of citizen when i'm back in the white house we will use every tool lever and authority to get the homeless off our streets we want to take care of them but they have to be off our streets They're how are you going to take care of them are you going to uh enact the housing first policy so that these people have houses that they can live in and then you know get jobs and take care of their mental health or just shove them to some other location there is nothing compassionate about letting these individuals live in filth and squalor rather than getting them the help that they need we need professionals to help them for a small fraction of what we spend upon ukraine we could take care of every homeless veteran in America. Our veterans are being treated horribly. Likewise, with all of the money we will save by ending mass unskilled migration, we will have a huge dividend to address this crisis in our own country. Under my strategy, working with states, we will ban urban camping wherever possible. Violators of these bans will be arrested, but they will be given the option to accept treatment and services if they're willing to be rehabilitated. Many of them don't want that. So the same thing is what most people do nowadays. Uh, throw them in jail or uh, offer them some kind of services, most of which are underfunded. So is Trump going to increase funding to outpatient programs for the homeless, mental health treatment programs for the homeless and stuff? Because this does cost money, and as you know, Republicans hate spending money on poor people. But we'll give them the option. We will then open up large parcels of inexpensive land, bring in doctors, psychiatrists, social workers, and drug rehab specialists, and create 10 cities where the homeless can be relocated and their problems identified. But we'll... Wow, in a tent city, instead of putting these people in houses or, you know, uh, re, re, um, remodel apartment buildings or something, you can even take old rundown motel uh, buildings and remodel them for people to live in. But tent cities, wow, that basically he wants to create a concentration camp for these people. We'll open up our cities again, make them livable and make them beautiful. For those who are just temporarily down on their luck, we will work to help them quickly reintegrate into a normal life. For those who have addictions, substance abuse, and common mental health problems, we will get them into treatment. And for those who are severely mentally ill and deeply disturbed, we will bring them back to mental institutions where they belong. 
with the goal of reintegrating them back into society once they are well enough to manage. It's a tough task, a very tough task. This is this is all BS because under the hands of a right wing uh, government, something like that would become a concentration camp where uh, anybody that they disliked would have been sent there and either used as forced labor or killed off in some way. It's all about removing homelessness um, out of sight, out of mind. If uh, people in the cities don't see it, then they can't care. And, the, and, the, and if these people get ab abused, which uh, a lot of people in society don't, don't really care about because being poor or homeless is just a choice. And if you choose to be homeless and get abused, well, that's your fault. And also these people, you know, being, you know, flat brook, have no money to fight against any kind of injustice that happens against them. What's taken place on the streets, what's taken place with their taking so much drugs. But the fact is, we're going to try. This strategy will be far better and also far less expensive than spending vast sums of taxpayer money to house the homeless in luxury hotels without addressing their underlying issues. And they have so many of these underlying issues and needs. This is how I will end the scourge of homelessness and make our cities clean and safe and beautiful once again. We will do it. We will bring back America. Thank you. So Trump's plan of, of uh, solving the homelessness issue is by creating concentration camps. That's all it is. He, he, he gussied it up with, um, we'll help them blah 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 but that's not gonna happen not underneath a republican government